Your website is becoming a greater and greater threat to your blockchain infrastructure. A recent React and therefore Next.js critical vulnerability results in, you guessed it, your private key once again being leaked. But even worse than that, the hackers running any command on your servers that they please. This is the CVE for this exploit, a 10.0 with severity being critical. And this isn't a phony inflated severity. This is like hacker can run whatever they want on your server at any time. Shout out to the asset note team whose repo I'm repurposing to show you a demo of actually doing this. And I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert on how these Next.js exploits work, but Essentially, you just send a real basic HTTP POST request with your body or for you blockchain people, your call data set up in a specific way to basically trick the server into running it on the server. So I've modified this scanner.py code and I'm not going to show you because this is for education purposes only. And on my UI, I've got a really basic Next.js project running and I can show you that running this scanner, I'm going to run this scanner command here, I'm going to basically craft a payload that's going to trick my server into doing whatever the hell I want. And in this case, I've set it up to just read this .env, which has an Anvil default private key. Don't worry, it's not a real private key. And all it's going to run is this cat.env, which as you know, is the Linux command to read a file. We're literally going to read this file and we're going to have the server paste the outcome of that command as a redirect. And you'll see that it'll pop up both on our server side and over here. And this could be any server, any endpoint at all. I'll hit enter. I'll see it says that it's vulnerable. And right here, it gives us a redirect if we did this paste where the private key is posted right in the redirect. So yeah, and you can even see in the server logs here, you see the redirect with the private key posted right in the uh, URL. So you can run any command and read any file and do pretty much whatever the hell you want to the server. This is why this is a critical. And it's just another reminder, never, ever, ever, ever put your private key in plain text, especially in a .env, especially on your servers, because this was live and there were a lot of projects that didn't upgrade fast enough and your credentials could have been stolen. If you haven't upgraded by now, please, please, please do so very soon. I'm not going to be releasing the code that I wrote here. And uh, yeah, stay safe, friends.